On this episode, I have a few news stories to share with you in case you missed them. I'm opening up the vault to bring you my interview with Exodus members Gary Holt and Jack Gibson from the Hall of Heavy Metal History Award Ceremony and how to win tickets for the Soulfly, Nile, and Dark Sun show for my giveaway. It's all coming up right now. You're watching Almost Famous. <laughs> Hi everyone, thanks for watching, I'm Jess Fama, and let me just take one quick second to remind you that it only takes one quick second to subscribe, so go ahead, I'll wait, just click that button. Okay, thanks. Now let me jump right into it. Here's some news stories that you might have overlooked. In case you missed it, a promoter from Golden Voice announced on Twitter that Los Angeles' annual FYF Festival has been canceled, stating, after much consideration, we have made the difficult decision to cancel FYF Fest 2018. Our team have worked tirelessly on this event for many years, but felt unable to present an experience on par with the expectations of our loyal fans and the Los Angeles music community. We will be announcing some very special local shows soon, featuring some of the amazing artists from the 2018 lineup. This is the first year that the event will not run since its inception in 2004. The festival was to be headlined by Janet Jackson, Florence and the Machine, and Future. In case you missed it, they're like, totally back, dudes and dudettes. That's right, Keanu Reeves and Alex Winter will re-team on Bill and Ted Face the Music, their third installment of the comedy franchise. Reeves will once again play Ted Theodore Logan, and Winter is portraying Bill S. Preston Esquire. In the original film, we saw the duo travel through time to assemble historical figures for their high school history presentation. In the new film, middle age and the responsibilities of family have caught up with these two best friends who have not yet fulfilled their destiny to write the greatest song ever written. A visitor from the future warns them that not only their song can save life as we know it, forcing Bill and Ted to set out on a time travel adventure to seek the song. Excellent! In case you missed it, Scott Hutchinson of the Scottish indie rock band Frightened Rabbit is still missing after have been reported as such earlier this week. The lead singer has not been seen since leaving the Dakota Hotel in South Queens Ferry earlier Wednesday morning, and police are now seeking two people who were seen passing him on CCTV footage for more information about his potential whereabouts. Late Tuesday night, Hutchinson posted a pair of tweets raising concerns over his welfare. Be so good to everyone that you love. It's not a given. I'm so annoyed that it's not. I didn't live by this standard and it kills me. Please hug your loved ones. And almost 20 minutes later, he wrote, I'm away now. Thanks. According to the BBC, Hutchinson was last seen wearing a dark baseball cap, a navy blue hooded jacket, gray or khaki trousers, and white trainers. Frightened Rabbit took to Twitter saying, we have no news to report on Scott's whereabouts this morning. Your support so far has been incredible, and all we ask is that you keep him in your thoughts and your prayers, and please keep sharing his picture online. Good luck and positive thoughts and prayers go out to Frightened Rabbit's members and to Scott's family and friends. In case you missed it, brothers Thomas Gray and Lloyd Gray drove seven hours from Santa Cruz, New Mexico to tour the campus of Colorado State University in Fort Collins, Colorado, only to be taken off the tour by cops. The brothers were wearing t-shirts from Cattle Decapitation and Arch Spire while on their tour. A woman called the police saying that the brothers were definitely not part of the tour, that their clothing represented dark stuff, and that they were lying to her with fake names and what they wanted to study. The president of Colorado State University, Dr. Tony Frank, released a statement regarding the incident and offers ways that this could be prevented in the future saying, these two young men, through no fault of their own, wound up frightened and humiliated because another campus visitor was concerned about their clothes and overall demeanor, which appears to have simply been shyness. The very idea that someone, anyone, might look like they don't belong on a CSU admissions tour is an outrage. People of all races, gender, identities, orientations, cultures, religions, heritages, and appearances belong here. As long as you want to earn a great education surrounded by people with the same goal who come from every part of our state, our country, and world, then you belong here. 
And if you're uncomfortable with a diverse and inclusive academic environment, then you probably have a better fit somewhere else. Cattle Decapitation has posted their story on Facebook and tagged the two brothers, offering them free guest list spots to their shows for life. It's time for Almost Famous Happy Spot, where I'm bringing you a dose of happiness from around the nation, because a little happy can go a long way. Joey Gukuam, an economics student at the University of Texas, has proven that we can safely grow produce on top of inactive landfills. It may sound unappetizing, but it's actually pretty ingenious. Using a 200-foot patch of land in a closed landfill southeast of Austin, she worked with her fellow students to grow 20 pounds of various crops, such as radishes, eggplants, bell peppers, cucumbers, and cantaloupe. All of the produce was then tested and declared safe by the Food Safety Net Services. If expanded to include all 390 acres of the landfill, she would be able to grow enough food for over 8,000 families. There are more than 6,000 inactive landfills as of 2012, which roughly amounts to over 2 million acres of unused land. If implemented nationwide, her experiment could spell the end of food insecurity. She says that she's excited to expand her initiative to other communities, one trash patch at a time. Landfills are not endangered resource, they're going to keep being around. When these landfills close, I want to use the space and grow food on top of them instead of abandoning them. Good for you, Joy. The Happy Spot was brought to you by GuitarCleft.com. Looking for that one-of-a-kind music gift for that music lover or musician in your life? Well, look no further than GuitarCleft.com. With jewelry, music accessories, clothing, and fun and different gifts like this, my favorite, the Ticket Book album, an album to keep all of your ticket steps safe, and in one place, not in that random drawer that they're probably in now, getting destroyed. So head on over to GuitarCleft.com and receive 15% off your next order with code ALMOSTFAMA at checkout. From the Almost Fame of Vault, I'm bringing you my quick chat with Jack Gibson and Gary Holt of Exodus from the Hall of Heavy Metal History Award Ceremony. Hey everyone, I'm here with Gary and Jack of Exodus. What's going on? What's up? How are, How are you? I'm We're good. Doing good. Doing good today. You're not amazing. You just got inducted. We did. I just was inducted. Just got inducted. Yeah. Into but the but we didn't. Heavy metal history. But we but we didn't get our trophy because ours was smashed. I know. Which was pretty typical I for actually Exodus. Saw, I, I saw yours. <laughs> it, it was a little broken. I'm used to like being inducted into like, like you know. The liquor in, store? <laughs> no, 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 no. Into like uh, the police station. You know, <laughs> you, know, like, you know someone on like call like on, on a speed dial that gets you out? Mm. I used to. Yeah. I used yeah. to, yeah. We have people. Used to, yeah. Oh, you have people too. You're yeah. like, oh, yeah. like speed <laughs> dial number one just in case I'm in jail. I That's need to bail out. No, now, now I just call my wife. <laughs> Hell. It's happened again, honey. She's like, God. Damn it, no, Gary. No, <laughs> I haven't been in jail in years. I'm okay. Do you remember the first time you went to jail? I was 17 years old. What did you go to jail for? For stealing equipment. That's a good story. Stealing equipment. Yeah. yeah that's from another band or from a yeah, store? From, from another, another band. band. That's how Exodus got our equipment. You know, I, I mean, I did a night in juvenile. Kirk Hammond. Every good did band a needs a nights, start. Right? I'm not protecting No, it was before my days, but I've been in trouble myself. You've been myself. there. You've been yeah. there is what I'm saying. Yeah. You've done that yourself. Just not with, just not with, <laughs> not with yeah. Gary. See so you and Car Camet running around stealing equipment from people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we needed gear. <laughs> you know, what we're going to do? We were boys from the ghetto. I would have loved to have seen Boys that. from the hood. You know, <laughs> we stole what we couldn't have, you know. Hey, you got to start somewhere. It's not right. It's not necessarily like... The best thing to do, but <laughs> it's not, what you did not when you were like it. when you were 18 years old and you had no money and you're from San Pablo, California. Well, let me ask: Have you paid it back at this point to other generations of musicians? Yes, yeah. I have donated, actually and given away. I have seen much, Gary much give a lot more. of stuff away. I, I I can I can speak for that. There we go. So, yeah. so you've kind of wiped your slate clean. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've I've, gi I've yeah. given away much more than I've taken. Yeah. Perfect. Then you've totally made up for it. Your karma balance, yeah. I think, is good. Yeah. I think so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I vouch for that. Okay, I had to write it down because the name is so long, but the Adult Swim presents Mr. Pickles' Trash-tacular Tour. 
And you guys are playing with municipal waste. That's You're right. friends. That's right. Yes, yes. Yeah, it yeah, yeah, should be good. So that's pretty funny, right? You're like going on a show, on tour for a cartoon show. Yeah. No, it's going to yeah. be awesome. Yeah, it's I mean, a funny they're, cartoon. And, they're you know. good friends of ours. You know, I mean, we've been bros of municipal waste forever. Yeah. And I've read articles and they have spoken very highly of you guys. So they yeah. can't wait for this tour. Yeah. They're really looking forward. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Be great, yeah. And I heard there really might be good. some pranks getting played along the way. Oh, I'm sure. Possibly. I'm Tell sure. Me some pranks. Come on. No, 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 no. You can share, can share one. Just one. If Come I on. share, then they don't know. Yeah, then they, then right, they know it's coming. Give me one pass. Well, I know last prank. time we toured with them, like we were writing like almost like theme songs for all the other bands. <laughs> Remember Holy Grail? Yeah, yeah. Holy Grail. Holy Grail. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. talking about Holy Grail. Yeah. 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 So no, I think that things be like worse that. than that. Stuff no. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I put like cellophane on the toilet? So you can do that. Yeah. Here, we've, 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 that we've duct taped people in the bunk before. has a song dedicated to Tom Hunting on the new album. Is that right? Tom was instrumental in writing that song. So. Yeah, interesting. We'll see. We'll have to see. I, I don't know. You never know. I don't know. He doesn't know. These I don't know. These things are spontaneous. We'll see you know, what happens. Um, you guys have toured all over. Are you really looking forward to this tour, though? I mean, it's something it different. It should be good, like, yeah. Interesting. I never look forward. We don't really know what to expect, to be honest. So, um, wait, you don't like touring? Or I hate touring. Some people, some <laughs> musicians love it, and some people hate it. I'm 15. I love it, like, the How first two weeks, and then the second two weeks, I'm ready to no, go. No, but. it'll be fun. It'll be great. I have to, like, balance my enthusiasm with... You know, being home with my children and my grandchild. Right? So, mm -hmm. you know, it's not always perfect. Right. You know, my job is not always flawless. But it's a but pretty cool job. It's pretty cool. Job. It's a it's a pretty fucking cool job. But I would there's nothing I'd rather do than be home with my granddaughter and my kids. Gary's got like two of the coolest jobs. Being a granddad, no, and he gets to be in like two. Oh, of the two of the coolest heaviest, bands. heavy metal bands. That what, what, are, that well, can like we yeah. time out? Can we actually <laughs> touch upon that really quick? Farewell tour for Slayer is this? Is no this, comment. Is this a fake farewell? Like there is most no comment. Bands do. Come on, you. I'm not even in the band, and I have no comment. My middle name on this weekend is officially no comment. I knew it. <laughs> Man. Gag. No comment. I tried. I tried. I wasn't even going to try, but you brought it up. So I was like, had to take my in on that one. You know what I mean? All right, you guys, I don't want to take up any more of your time, but I want to say thank you so much and congratulations on being inducted thank into you. the Hall of Heavy thank Metal you. History. If you missed the Exodus shows, you can catch Gary on tour now with Slayer for what is to be the final tour for now. We're all hoping not. Fingers crossed. Come on, Slayer. We need you around for a couple more years. Let's go. Okay, well, who wants to win tickets to see Soulfly, Nile, and Dark Sun? Well, I have your tickets. I have your chance. I'm giving away a pair of passes to two lucky winners to the show on Thursday the 17th at the world-famous Whiskey A Go Go. And here's how you can win. Two simple things. And if you did what I asked of you in the beginning of the show, well, now you only have one thing left to do. Number one, subscribe to my channel. That's right, hit that button, subscribe. And number two, in the comments below, tell me the first time that you saw one of these bands, or if you're a first timer. That's it. Now get to it, people. It's so easy, right? I'll be contacting the winners on Wednesday night, and then I will see you at the show on Thursday. Good luck, everyone. And for now, I will say farewell until I see you next time. I'm Jess Fama. Thanks so much for watching. And remember, keep creating happiness. Please hang up and try again.